But there's one at like Milby. Milby and um Can I take the train there? You could it, you would have to walk there to get to the train. Walking? Yeah. You can't take the you could take the train to um like a further stop. You know stop. how I feel about walking, John. You hate it and you volunteered to do this. All right. Britt, do you have any snack requests? Yeah. I'm physically eating a snack right now. But do you want but more? But do you want more snacks after the snacks? I got four dollars. A we, common thing. With that four dollars, we could buy any number of snacks plus one beer, one cheap beer. <laughs> okay. Very yeah, cheap. Can you give me a forty? A forty? <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, I don't know. Will four dollars color? Forty, forty, or just a forty? I actually want Oreos and milk. Okay. Can you, she get forty ounces of Oreos and milk? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, with four dollars probably. I, this is not that cheap as a convenience store. <laughs> uh, are we gonna? No, that convenience gonna... store. No one's ever at the counter, so you can just walk out with the stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, I heard that they were doing it off of a uh, like loyalty honor system. Yeah. Wait, for real? Give me my honor four... system. I'm mean, like honor system. I need that four dollars more than you need honor. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't That's know. That's a bold statement. It's very bold, but it's also very true. Uh, I'm just kidding, my. Are you going to seize the means of production then? <laughs> no, I would like you to exchange the means of production for some beer. Okay. I think I've earned it today. You have so little understanding of economics. Both of them. <laughs> I, I, very, I studied for, for two years in high school. That was a long time ago. Very poor. I've, I got a C minus in environmental economics. Mm, environmental, not just economics. Uh, environmental economics is a load of, of, of BS, it's bull, bull mess. Like this? Yeah. Because this is environmental. It's not Creating helpful. air with money. I can't, I wonder if people are even watching anymore at this point. You're an alchemist. You're turning, you're, you're turning. You're manifesting air with the, You're turning boring TV into gold. <laughs> and no one's, everyone's just watching Brit react. I love it. Let's just turn the whole show into Brit reacting to what we're doing. It's air. <laughs> With money. Yep, Brad, you just you just sit there and eat cookies on Women screen. like me get paid good money to watch <laughs> Hey, to, hey to eat cookies. That's true. Like you we can't we can't make any money off we can't legally make any money off anything we do on the show. So you're giving it all away for free. Wow. Really? Like tonight, Monday night on Space City Chronicles. See Brit Vosicek give away for free. I mean, you're Eating, you're the one eating cookies on the TV show, and if people if people want to come watch that, 713-807-1794, if you got a non-creepy thing to say to Brit <laughs> about her eating cookies, has to be non-creepy. You can't come in and be like, whatever, eat that cookie. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> no, not acceptable. If you want to talk to Brit about the cookies, and if you got... If you got something that you want to say to Brit about cookies or just something you want to say, again, non creepy, 713 807 1794. I have an Amazon wish list. Oh, uh, I put can't. Up on that. That's. You could, if you want. I'm <laughs> kidding. But you could, I don't ha I don't know how to work Amazon. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. Like, that guy just gave me a thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Do you know him? No. <laughs> Making air with money still. Oh, uh, but you're still not. Are you gonna go or? Oh, I'm request writing notes down. Okay. For, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to be just cut you off there. I, I don't like. It's kind of uncomfortable with you just fanning me. Here, I'm done with these. You wanna? Uh, but you'll be done. You didn't save me any. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there is one left. Well, you know what, Brit? Mm -hmm. Brit saved you a little cookie. I'm a little sad about it, but I'm like, come oh, on. Ate the last snack. Oh, gotta well. go get more. Gotta go get more. Bye. Yeah. Just nice. some beer. You're a hero. But don't buy a hero. No, I only have four dollars. All right. Uh, so they're gonna go walk to. Let me go. Convenience store. You can go with them. No. Uh, it'll I be was me. about to sing a song, but I don't know if we have royalties for it. Um, if the song is uh, <laughs> performed differently enough from the original, <laughs> like the cover satire. <laughs> like see, we get away with that all the time. And the only thing that'll happen to us is if we put it up when we put it on YouTube. Uh, we won't make uh, like the the 17 cents that we make off each viewing. Mm. Uh, or sorry, the point one seven cents. What was that phone number? Seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four on the screen for you. Seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four. Hey, if you're watching at home and you were wondering, wait, man, is this the week to call in? It surely is. <laughs> it surely is. And if you're at home thinking, I don't know if I want to talk to John. He. <laughs> 
You don't you have talk to, to me. You don't have to talk to me at all. You can say I don't want to talk to you, John, and I'll just let you talk to Brit. You can practice your monologue that you've been working on. Yeah, I have a monologue. Or are you talking about the phone guy? The phone guy. Okay. Yeah, if you got a monologue or a play or a movie you'd like to pitch, seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four. This hypothetical phone person that's a creative. Yeah, do, if you're if you're at home and you're tired of fighting for time at Station Theater and you want to come on and bring your troops, seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four. Uh, if you don't feel like driving out to Beta to go see Max, just call in and, and see if you, Max will show up. They won't, but you can you can ask for sure. You can also, if you're at those shows right now, yeah, call just in call from us a, from there. If you're calling in from like a Friday or Saturday when either of those establishments has TV show, has, uh, shows. No, they don't have TV shows. Only I have a TV show. So it turns out if these cookies melt just right, they leave like candy on the inside of the bag. So, oh, yeah? So that's what I'm working on. All right. If you uh, are interested in watching Brit <laughs> lit more chocolate from bags, 0 3 8 0 7 1 7 4 Apparently she makes money doing it. Can we talk about that? Or are you I'm okay with talking about All right. That. So why do you make money uh, licking chocolate off bags? That's not exactly what I make money off. Okay. But but I, so I have like an alter ego on the internet. Mm -hmm. The name of which, well... No, I won't disclose. I decided just now. Okay, that's um, fair. So I have like this separate woman that I am mm -hmm. that does like cam stuff. Ooh. And so I make the most money off of eating in front of people because I'm kind of chunky. And so dudes are like, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, foot stuff. Duh. Of like, course. If you can make money doing foot stuff, you should make money doing foot stuff. Exactly. I um. recommend it to everyone. It's a great way to liberate yourself. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Uh, like you can, you can, it, like, do you set your own hours or do you have like... I set my own hours. Sometimes if someone like wants a private thing, mm -hmm. like if like it's a food thing and yeah. they like want me to eat a specific thing, I'm like, okay, so the Tuesday night, night 11 p.m., say, I'll be there. So you do do by appointment, but do you have yeah. like regular, like I'm going to be on at this time for like an open... Not really. Okay. I do, you know, like my free camps and like okay. chatterbait, stuff like that. I'll just go on whatever. I'm broke or lonely. Yeah. This is either one. Just like everybody else. Do you ever go on when you broke and lonely? <laughs> I've never those things at the same time. Wow, lucky you. <laughs> My life's incredible. Oh man, I imagine. Yeah, I'm I'm lonely a lot, uh, yeah. but that's just normal. That was that mm -hmm. I was born lonely. Where do you feel loneliness in your body? Um Probably my brain, where I have most of those thoughts. <laughs> that's such a cop out answer. What? You gotta like close your eyes and you gotta like breathe into it like like, I feel loneliness um, in my legs right above my knees. I'm just kidding. That's not really where I feel lonely. <laughs> oh. Can you feel loneliness in other parts of your body? Like, I, 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 I actually, if you want to, like, I actually feel loneliness right at the bottom of my stomach. Like, right here. Oh, okay. What does it feel like? It's like um, this, like, empty vacuum. So wherever like, there's just emptiness. Well, it might feel different for you. Oh, okay. Like, for me, it just feels like, like, it's, like, sucking in all the other stuff, and it's at the bottom. I gotta go get, like, my chakras blown out by some hippie friend or something. Okay. Yeah, I have, uh, I probably, it's probably in parts of my body where I get excessively tense. I'm a very tense person. Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of upper back and shoulder pain. Ooh, do you think your loneliness manifests your shoulder pain? Uh, loneliness and stress. Maybe it's both. I don't know. I haven't been to a therapist in a while. <laughs> I'm so lonely! It I am. It stresses me out! Uh, well, yeah, they kind of compound one another. <laughs> I'm lonely. I'm stressful because I'm lonely, and I'm lonely because I'm stressful. I wish I had, a, you know, someone in my life to do all this emotional labor for me so I didn't have to. I wish I just had time to go to a therapist so I could pay them for the emotional labor. Mm -hmm. That's you know, true. That's, that's, how, that's how I got broken. Lonely was going to see a therapist. Ugh, tell me Did about it. Did you know that I can't see you? <laughs> I'm talking to a fern. Yeah, that was I was voicing a fern. That's between two ferns with Zach Galifianakis. I shaved all my hair off and changed my name to John. I have an equally as unpronounceable last name, Ross and Foss. No one, no one can say it right. I didn't know that. My Ross name. No one can ever say my last name either. I didn't say it at the top of the show. <laughs> you at all. Earlier, what'd you say, Vasicek? Vasicek. That's what it looks like to me. It's Vasicek. Vasicek. What's the origin on that one? Yes. Check. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> It has it in the name. That's a check. Duh. Yeah, okay. my family's like bohemian by heritage. Nice. Are you bohemian by nature? A little. I do shower though. Good. <laughs> I uh, don't. I did not put deodorant on after my shower, but I. I, I don't have wear shower. deodorant. That's solid. No, I, I don't like how it feels on my skin, and I'm allergic to pretty much every artificial odor. So I have to buy very specific brands of everything, and I just got tired of it. So I just was like, let me. Hey, you know. John. Yeah, what's up? Sorry to interrupt. God? We Fine. have a caller on the, on the line. We got God calling in. God? That's a 
amazing that they That's can do that. No, we caller. have God. God is a regular fe- contributor to the show. He <laughs> That's loves That's amazing. Us. Yeah. This is just a caller. All right, caller. No, this this is God telling us we have a caller. Mm-hmm. All right, caller, you're on the air. No, you're not. Right. <laughs> so go, go ahead, caller. Caller. Can I burp on Yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can, and yes, you can. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, could you turn your show, like turn your TV right down? Okay, yeah, can you do that? It's better now. Yeah. What's up? Okay, cool. No, I'm, I'm just calling in. I was just uh, found out about this. Oh, cool. Uh, Who? Our friend who's in the band. Oh, nice. So you're friends with the band Marfa? Yes, yes. I thought they broke up last week, but apparently <laughs> now they're live TV. Well, they're coming back together for a reunion on the TV show. It's is crazy. Is this a reunion show? I didn't wow. realize. Caller, uh, first of all, what's your name? I never asked that. Uh, yeah, my name's Enrique Garza. All right, Enrique, you don't have to give your full name. Uh, Enrique. <laughs> okay. What's your credit card number? Yeah, what's Enrique, what's your social number? security? <laughs> Okay, no. Anyway, um... I won't give that. Oh. I don't have one. Are you in a band? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I, I'm kind of uh, oh, their visual representative. Hard. You didn't know they were and together? Uh, I, 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 I make their graphics and things like that nature. It's those. Wow, you seem like you're pretty important to the running of the band. Like, they need to talk to yeah, you because they need graphics. But I have to find out on live TV they're back together now and... <laughs> You know, I, have, I don't know what to do. Well, hold on. Let me get Joey. Joey, real quick. Real quick. Here, I'll dip out. Bye, yeah, you, everybody. You, you dip out for a little bit. Bye forever. Oh, All right, cool. forever. All right, Joey. Joey Mata, yay. <laughs> wait, hold on. It's Enrique, Joey. No, wait. Oh, cool. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Um... It's been a, it's been a I rough. I feel like I'm interviewing you from my my where I'm at. I know I don't like it. Well, actually, go uh, ahead, it, Enrique. Yeah. Go ahead and interview Joey there. for like a few minutes, just like a minute. What? <laughs> what? Okay, Joey. What? It's all right. What? Who? What? When? Where? Enrique. Who? What? When? Where? And why? What about how? How? Yes. Um. I I I'm I, I'm I'm a lot for words, but um. I, I can make sense of this. Um, so, I'm a graphic designer. Okay. First true. of all, true. That's that's my profession. That is very true. And um, true. yeah, play. so I enjoy making music, music, art, mm-hmm. stuff. So yeah, it's just a little bit about myself. All right. Well, um, I feel like Joey, you flipped the script on Enrique. I was know. supposed to ask you, and then you, yeah, you really you took over. Here. Mm-hmm. And now I know a lot about Enrique. Hey, Enrique, you want to be on the show? Uh, one day, yeah. Sure. Like next week, two weeks, I don't know, whenever you want. But we we would like to talk to a graphic designer. That oh, would be awesome, cool, man. That'd be. Yeah, man, bring. I can do some stuff. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> yeah, his designs are very graphic. They're very out there. Nice. I'm into it. I'm into it. All right. Yeah. Well, you should come on the show. Uh, talk to Joey, and Joey will talk cool. to me, because we'll have you on definitely, if that's okay yeah. with you. It doesn't matter if it's okay, like with, if that's okay with me. I just booked him. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't think Enrique. All right. Well. Anyway, Joey, I'll let you go. Back to All right, man. Uh, Enrique, thank you so much for calling in. Cool, man. Um, and yeah, definitely, I'm serious about you have, having you on the show. I want to book you on the show. Oh, sounds great, man. All right, all right, Enrique. I'll come up with some stuff. Oh, definitely. All right, Enrique, all you right, rock. Man. Joey, go over there. there. Get your rock on. Out. All right, well. Um, I could just keep talking. Nice, talk, 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 Uh, maybe is there like a video or something we could cut to, or? No. No, there's nothing? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I can take off my shirt. If that's entertaining. Um. Also, by the way, like whenever we open and close the doors, the lights go out. What? I've just been. I've just been informed that, yeah, sure, yeah. please. Oh my god, I'm dying out here. Please, for the love of god. Yeah, please. Uh, every time we open the door, the lights go on and off. That's cool. So, the studio is haunted by a door spirit. Um, 
yeah, Brett, I'd like to thank you for coming on and doing this much work for us. This is, this is... I'm pretty excited that um, you get, I get to do this. Yeah, you get to do... You get so much freedom to do whatever you want as a guest. Yeah. Like, you could... <laughs> You could take over and do completely your own thing. You could do. Could. You could like shut me up and do a stand-up set. You could just like decide to go over there and just like stand and stare at the camera. And I'm sure the camera <laughs> would follow you because it looks at me a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do any of those things. That's fine. You don't. Have to, um, I'm not gonna. Force it's really you. hard to do stand-up when there's not an audience. No, I know. Because it's uh, like 80 percent their laughter. Mm-hmm. And uh, so try to get anyone who's who's not paying attention like no one's paying attention to us right now yeah it's fine i, I don't that's mind that's most it. of what stand-up is is just trying to get people to look at you and validate you with their mm -hmm. laughs mm -hmm. yeah you need you need to form connections with total strangers hello? in a very public setting hello hi there's someone on skype there's someone on skype okay uh uh let them through <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right we got joey hey my oh i haven't left yet Oh, I see that. <laughs> but you decided to call in. I found a cat. I'm going to chase it. You found a cat? Put the cat on. Put the cat on, my. <laughs> flip. Flip it. Can you flip? Do the flip? Flip. Well, uh, too late. It ran away. I Do a flip. i to the store now. You done goofed, my. I done so goofed. They done, you done goofed. Yeah, make a face because you, you lost a cat. I bet there are more. Oh, there's tons. Or maybe the cat lost me. I don't think that's how it went. I think you lost it. <laughs> I think you're just trying to cover up by reversing what I said to make it seem like what you said. There's <laughs> the lights again. Um, what's a reverse? I don't know. You reversed what I said. So I said that you lost the cat, and you're like, maybe the cat lost me. So yeah, a, Ma, you need to flip it horizontal. What's happening? I don't know. It's really dark, and we can't see what you're doing. Are you um, walk? Are you walking to the store by yourself? Yes. All right, I'm not gonna say where you are. But still, put the phone. Should I go left or right? I can't see or tell. So from the studio, out of those. Games, you just walk in a straight uh, line down that street, right. and then until you get to Milby, and then take a left on Milby. I'm scared. Well, yeah, you, you should be. Yeah. Take a car. Yeah. Why did you walk? Uh. You could have easily okay. driven there. Didn't you tell? I, earlier. I too. thought I did, but I didn't. I realized that it's also Wait. just as funny if she's if they're in a car. <laughs> are you still in the parking lot? No, I'm walking. Oh, are you far enough away from your car that you can't go back to your car? Yeah. Oh no, don't. You're walking down the wrong. Well, yeah. If you get to Milby, yeah. you're fine. You just told everyone where you were, though. You really are um, walking. Yeah, yeah so I just they're got walking. Back from New York, and this is you know. Oh my gosh. When I came back from New York, I forgot that you had to wait for crosswalks because I hadn't done it in so long. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I almost got hit by cars here in Houston like so much. Yeah, I love I love just jaywalking <laughs> that life, but I need a rush. All right, my, uh, have you seen any interesting characters out there? Not yet. All right. Uh, when I did walk out of the studio, um, some of the workers were out there while I was like, oh, cat, I'm chasing it, and they all saw me. <laughs> All right. Well, that's solid. that would it, that that's awesome. If you see anyone that looks like they might be fun to interview, uh, we'll put them on. Um. Okay, but I'm about to jail um, right now. All right. Definitely film yourself breaking the law. All right. Well. All right. Breaking the law. Gonna do breaking the law. Uh, H H P D. You know, Houston and Louis or not Houston, Texas and Louisiana are the only states where pedestrians still only have the right of way in a crosswalk. Wow, that's that's that's. So in every other state, if you're outside of a crosswalk and you get hit, it's 100% the driver's fault. But in Texas and Louisiana, the driver can get out of it. <laughs> oh man, that's scary. All right, I'll need to rethink how I walk then, because I definitely don't like give crap about cars. Yeah. I'll stare. I'll he stare has, cars down. I'll just stand in the street and just like glare at them. A and they'll stop 90% of the time. What what happened? What they say? <laughs> What did you say? Something about a half naked man through a window. half naked man. Put, put, get, no, don't give me more screen time. I want more half naked man. Uh uh, I'm, I'm full clothed. We want half naked. Like, it's gone. It's okay. gone. What, what half of him was Mr. naked? Pants. Just what his pants. What a pa tease. Wait, he was just wearing pants? Yes. Okay, but was he wearing pants, like, he wasn't wearing a shirt? No shirt. Was he wearing shoes? 
Uh, I couldn't see that love. Was he wearing a grocery cart on his back? I no, think I know he was him. bending over. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, John. What's up? Uh, we have a caller, um, and we're going to see if we're well, technically you able to, like, bring in oh, the Skype right. call and the phone call. We so should we be go. able to. They're two different things. Uh, let me know. Also, all right, caller, you're on the air. What do you? What would you? What song would you like to hear? Um, can you play? Oh gosh, what song is? Oh, the boy is mine by uh, Monica and Brandy. <laughs> all right, yeah, we can we can do that. All right. Uh, this sounds like it's coming from a slumber party right now. Yeah. Oh, are we are we entertaining your slumber party right now, caller? Oh uh, no, this is me, and my dog. Just you and your dog. Who, who? What's your dog's name? Yeah. What is your dog's name? Harley. Ooh. Harley. <laughs> Harley. <laughs> I'm a dog named Harley. Harley. Hi. Hi, Andisha. Hey. Hey. Thanks for calling in. Put Harley on the no phone. Problem. Put Harley I'm on the phone. Reception. Yeah. Put put Harley on. Okay. Yeah. He's on. Hey, Harley. It's on the call. Hey, Harley. 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 Hey, Har. <laughs> Like, who is that? Oh, tell him to bark. Come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, so the question oh, of the nice. night is, are you ready? This is the question of the night. Where do you feel loneliness in your body? Oh, we could get that on a graphic. That would be great. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where do I feel loneliness in my body? Yeah. <laughs> um, probably my lower back. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. See? What, so, are you stretching? Like, what? Yeah, are you? Can you hear my Indy? A little bit, yeah. Okay, they're on a Skype. They're on a Skype call, so they might fade in and out. Uh, but where? So, do you do? She? I think. What? My? Did you ask if 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 uh, 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 stretching or something? Yeah, stretching. Are they stretching? Are you stretching? No, I'm not stretching. Okay. Not. Sorry. What was uh, the graphic we wanted? Uh, where do you feel loneliness in your body? <laughs> I'm taking my hippy dippy everywhere. Do you want me to? You want me to show you? Yeah, lower back, lower back. But what does it feel like? Oh, we're we're just I was oh, at, I was telling like? I was telling Ed to put that on screen. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? You want me to be with that? Big? What? Okay. I mean, um, you can. You can those, like, I'm not going to limit what you do. You realize we were just talking to someone that does graphics, and you wait for the next call to ask for graphics from a caller. Whatever. I was asking from Ed, but uh, okay. Ed asked me. So what does it feel like? Yeah, what does it feel like? <laughs> what is your loneliness? <laughs> What does your loneliness feel like? I'm living my best life right now. Oh, do you want me to keep answering questions? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you if you, if you don't okay. mind, yeah, that's fine. If you can answer, you yeah, whatever so you feel comfortable. Lower back is really tight, and um, it kind of feels like there's a bunch of multiple balls uh, going from one side of my back across to the other. That's very remarkably similar to what I'm feeling. So I'm guessing my loneliness may be here. I may get to the destination. Any snack requests? Um. What's uh, I kind of want a snack, but I also kind of want a beer. Uh, can we drink on the air? Or no? no, but I can drink after the air. Uh, you know what? I, if if Mike comes back before the end of the show, I want I want a food in my body that I can eat on the show. I don't know. Uh, see what you can get with my four dollars. Like, is it possible to get a snack and a beer? I don't care what the snack is. All right, so um, you can get a forty. Economics. That's exactly what I asked for earlier, Andy. Snacks are cheaper on the vending machine. <laughs> okay, so why don't we just get a 40 ounce? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get one into the snake. Now. And then I can like let it, we can pass a 40 around after the show. Cool. All right. Sounds good, Nate. Sounds. Yeah, I, uh, Indisha, I don't know if you can make it in, but uh, if you want, we're splitting a 40 after the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be there. Awesome. Yeah. No, you totally. Anytime I, I want to drink beer, you're invited. It's close to where yeah. I live. Cool. We have a little after party. Yeah. All right. Um, actually, after this, I'm probably going to cry in a bathtub. Good call. Don't I'm actually 45. watching Love and Hip Hop right now, so I want to get back to that. All right. Well, yeah. Enjoy your much uh, more. Well, what is happening on there? And maybe we could talk about that as a, like, a, like maybe. What, what's going on on Love and Hip Hop before you leave? Okay. So, um, Keisha Cole's on it. Okay. And um, I used to listen to her music. When I was having, like, my, like, thug middle school girl feel. Good. All right. Nice to know so, um, that. It's interesting to see her on a reality show. Uh-huh. Also, someone from B2K is on there. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> who else? Um, 
Oh, there's a lesbian couple, which is pretty cool. That's a, that's the real reason I'm watching it, honestly. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, that's solid. All right. Is there are there any major yeah. plot points or just like some some situations or drama? I know reality shows are big on that. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just a bunch of guys saying that they love their girlfriends and then it's like they're cheating on the the next scene. So, sounds, yeah, yeah. All right. That's, that's, love a for you. that sounds like there's a lot we could talk about. All right. Thank you so much for calling in. No thank problem. you. I love you. Uh, we're going to have Beer Queer on the show soon, so get ready. Yo. Oh, hell yeah. I'll just say it out loud. Yeah. Uh, no, Mai's supposed down. to talk to me right. about when that's going to happen. Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. What's up? They don't have 40s here, they only have 32 ounces. I'll, I'll, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I won't miss the other eight. Doesn't have doesn't have the allure of a forty, but ooh, four loco. Do I want? No, I don't want to do that. No, quit quit giving. Yeah, we can't show all those brands. Hello. Oh. Yeah. We can talk about um polyamory. Let's talk. We could. We might as well. Yeah, we got so much we can talk about with you. Polyamory. I'm in this polyamory thing. It's kind of complicated. So Indy was saying that on Love and Hip Hop, they're all cheating on their girlfriends on TV. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all you wanted to say about polyamory? <laughs> no. Okay, because that seems like a really terrible thing to say about it. Like, oh, no, it's cool hey, that they're just cheating. Call. We have a phone call coming. In. Another phone call? Well, all right. Um, it is not cool that they're cheating. That's the point. It's like, why don't we just tell them? It's on TV. Yeah, they're going to find out about it anyway. Exactly. There's no secret. Just be honest. Have an orgy. Be yourself. Listen to my podcast. Uh, what is your podcast? Polly Want a Podcast. Polly Want a Podcast. Um, P-O-L-Y space... W A N N A space podcast spelled P O D C A S T. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a good title when you have to spell it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, did you get did you get a beer and some chips or something? Or are you going to wait to get a snack from the vending machine? Hmm. I'm liking the row of pugs. Oh yeah, that's super cute. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do you think those pugs are polyamorous pugs? We have a collar. Collar. And then I want to. <laughs> this is prime. Mhm. Mm yeah, I know. I make great TV. All right. Uh, collar. If you're on the air, start talking. If not, we'll just keep talking. Anyway. Well, I heard the words collar, but maybe they were just. I don't know. What kind of music is playing in that gas station? Yeah. What's hey, what kind of music is this? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music is this? What? Bengali? Bengali music. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Who is um, in the we have a collar on the air. We do? Collar on the air. Collar? Oh, Pop? Hello? Okay. Pop, Caller, you're on the air. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. Rich said uh -huh. I called this number to talk around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. You have a radio voice. Uh, yes, it's Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. Whoa, your name is Steve? Steve's my biggest fan. All right, Steve. Steve got yeah, me a and birthday and card on my birthday show. Wow. It was and I, and, so and I'm terrible with names, but I'm not seeing the other guy tell stories at the DIY story time. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Another thing we have yours we can promote. Yeah, we can promote DIY story night. What what story did I tell? Uh, I remember this, this, that one, like, in, singing a song for all these German people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a really dumb thing I did. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the other one was because the, the awkward German thing was more memorable just because it was more awkward. Yeah. So you see me? Do you see me tell Tori's stories twice? I think so. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's been to all the story times. I've been the one I went. Uh, the first one I went to, I told the story about how I, uh, I one of my friends stole my Doritos and I, I beat up my Lunchables. That's solid. Um, and then because I had a healthy emotional response <laughs> to that. And then the other time was a story about a teacher party I went to that, that spiraled out of control, and there was an AK-47 that got popped out. Oh, that's cute. With a fully loaded magazine. It's all coming back to me now. Where do you feel loneliness in your body? Yeah, where, where a part of your body is your loneliness. Um, well, 
Right now it's probably in my stomach because I'm just about to eat dinner. That's just hungriness. <laughs> I'm hungry for food. Although, like a lot of people, I'm sure Britt, like you, like a lot of people, sometimes try to cure your loneliness with food. Oh, all the time. Do, uh, caller, do you, Steve, do you call, do you try to calm your loneliness with food? Uh, Oh wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, well, well I'm, I'm, I'm very social. Okay. I go out and do stuff a lot during the week, and I work around a lot of people. Yeah. And, and I don't mind yeah. doing things by myself either, so I just knock out back yeah, and see Blade Runner. Oh, how was Blade Runner? Uh, it was great. Good, good. Where are you going to eat? Uh, I picked up some takeout from the Swaffle Guys. Oh, you're speaking all, to me right now. <laughs> That's so solid. Yeah, so I'm nibbling on some waffle right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds so good. You are living your best life. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, yeah, I guess so. Is my name? I had the day off today. So that's... Oh, you had the day off? Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. Yeah. Happy Massacre Day, everybody. Yeah. And then we're going to bed, and then we have to sound Yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, well, then we got Brit's video too. I kind of know you said. We can't do that because we don't have people. Oh. We have so, to wait. So, are you that another time? No, I'm actually just riffing because they don't have enough material. Yeah, so. we, we really showed up to be professional this week. <laughs> so, I asked, we actually have a graphic if we want to get that up on the screen. It's my favorite part of being alive. Yeah. I asked where loneliness was in uh, John's body and we figured it out. Yeah, it's in my shoulders. I would yeah. like to have the graphic with the pug. Yeah, if we could do both of those. Um, so does, does that pug belong to one of y'all, or is it just that pug from the internet? That pug is that pug belongs to nobody. <laughs> that pug is its own man. It's its own pug. <laughs> All those pugs are their own independent pugs. Steve, they... do you have any pets? I do not. I, I'm not home. Enough. Oh. Would, you, would you consider adding like an animal on your shoulder or in a front pocket? <laughs> or maybe something that crawled in and out of your hair? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, that, that might work. Um, I, I, have, I have met people that have uh, hermit crabs and a necklace. Okay. okay. Yeah, I hadn't thought about a hermit crab necklace, but that would work. That's if, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. See, like crawling around on the shirt, you know? Yeah, okay. Well, so, right. uh, Shit's Steve. Obtained. What? Stuff's obtained. Yay! All right. Thank my... you for calling, Steve. Thank You're you, a calling. Hero. Thank you for bye. calling. I'll talk to you later. To you. Bye, Steve. All right, bye. All right. Are we ready for the live sound check? <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> with, live with their hit song, Sound Check. <laughs> Before they play a song, it's Marfa.
this stuff now. Say, can you kind of turn your speaker towards this? Vocals. Vocals. Check. Check. One, two. Check. Uh, yes, it's totally on. This was in the seven, right? I believe. Check. Oh, you got it? I guess I. I It's too late, man. It's whatever. Sound check. <laughs> Sound check. 
That was sound check. Yeah. It's still oh, that was sound check? It still says sound check on this. Oh, wow. Every song is called sound check. Yeah, he didn't call it not sound check. Is there a way that we can get his vocals running out of this thing here? Probably. I know, right? I don't know that at all. Uh, I don't. I've never run sound on anything before. I'm actually talking off mic. No, Joe. I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk. Talk. Talk for a second. What? What's going on? Talk for a second so we can reset this. Okay. Uh. What am I talking about? Well, we checked the sound. We did. And it turns out it's wrong. Well, that's why we checked it live on the air. Marfa. Marfa HDX. <laughs> Marfa ACX. Oh, oh, not only is Marfa back in the building, but Mai is! Hey! Yeah, Mai's back! They are back. What did they bring? What did they. Oh, wow, looks like a lot of junk food. That's amazing. I'm so All right. happy. I can't wait for my beer, which I can't drink on the air, but I can drink off the air and then come back on the air. Why can't we drink on the air? We can't have any liquids in the studio. It's mostly that. Oh, people are trying to see if they can call. Oh, um, do we have someone in the studio who knows what they're doing with the phones? Oh, the, the, look, a thuse. All right, um, there's someone else in the booth I've never seen before, but that's okay. Uh, oh, look, as a matter of fact, uh, there are. No brands. No brands. No brands. I thought it was on the both sides, but we got two 40 ounces, uh, a bag of Cheez Its, a bag of cheese crackers, a bag of onion flavored rings, some orange puffs. Ooh, flaming hot popcorn. All right. Uh, gotta have nacho cheese tortilla chips. And uh, some generic nacho cheese. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Mm. Let's well, do a ritual for autumn. Well, we got time. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Britt, what's the show you got coming up soon that you want to talk about a lot? Oh, cool. Let's talk about my show that I have coming up. The, the very singular reason you you agreed to come on the show. Yeah. Do you guys? Will you guys put my um, my Twitter up? It's full of red. Uh, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> no one's in the. Anyway. Well, you know what? I should have asked you about that. So that's cool. We'll do it later. <laughs> okay. This show is called the Sell Your Body Show, oh, man, and it's a burlesque variety show. Mm -hmm. There's not uh, too much. And it has like music and comedy and storytelling and oh here, um, music and comedy and storytelling. And it's at Rec Room. Rec Room. Been to Rec Room. I've been to Rec Room. It's at. It's on October twenty eighth. Oh which is the last Saturday of the month. Mm. And we're doing a nightmare show, so everybody's doing something spooky. We're gonna be doing spooky stuff. Like spooky because it's like they're doing their worst nightmare or just describing nightmares or? Well, so a couple of the burlesque dancers, me included, are gonna do like, we're, like my routine is a zombie that does burlesque. Oh, okay. And then we have um, this dude named Dan D. Lyon, who's gonna do like a scary Donnie Darko thing. And then we have like a performance artist that's gonna do a nightmare performance. And then we have comedians going up and doing jokes. Of course. Do you want to be on? Sure. <laughs> Can I tell a story, a scary story? I have I have a story a, sco a story that's very scary. Um, a man. <laughs> Just hold on here. They gotta they gotta come to the show. It involves. Uh, well, if you're not gonna be on the show. Which you are. It involves. A, it does involve a kidnapping. <laughs> what? Yeah. So. Wow. That's that's my one that's tantalizing clue. That's, that's my, a good tease. Yeah, if you'll have me on, I'll be on. 28th? We have yeah. a call. Alright, caller. 28th at 10 p.m. at Rec Room. Alright, we'll we talk got, about we it open up later. the extreme sticks, but you can you mean you walk down to get it, so you can have whatever. I'm gonna eat these funnies, is that cool? Alright, uh caller. You're on the air. Oh hey. Hi! <laughs> What's up? Who Hi. is it? Who is this? This is Brianka. Oh my god! <laughs> it's Brianka. Brianka? Priyanka with Priyanka. a P. Oh, okay. Hi, Priyanka. Wow. We were like friends in high school. What? Yeah, like we're best friends. We're friends in high school. We're not friends anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been friends since high school. I just was hanging out with Emily last night for her going away party. And we got drunk and did karaoke and we kissed for the first time. Aw, that sounds sweet. No, that's not true. You don't hang out in my bed. You don't, don't even. <laughs> I don't remember. 
remember that. Wow, okay, so a heartfelt moment, totally underscored by the fact that you've already done it. Who are you making out with these days, Priyanka? Uh, you know. I don't know. <laughs> you looking we to make out with somebody? Oh my gosh, tell us about your cat. Yeah, cat! I want to know about your cat. Uh, so, I came out to Houston to help with demoing houses. Uh -huh. And I decided that I wanted to adopt a kitten while I was out there because I knew that the shelters were overflowing with cats. Nice. Um, my parents did that too. Good call. I told myself that I wanted not a kitten and a black cat specifically because I know that they don't get adopted as often. Oh, um, really? I didn't know that about black cats. Are you ready? Whenever you yeah, people are so weird about things like that. But, yeah, um, yeah, we're ready now. So I went to the shelter, and they didn't have any black cats oh. left, except for one that was in the back in, like, the thick animal area. Oh, God, so and I was like, well, damn it, I have to meet this cat. And so oh, my gosh. So you knew it was a sick cat? I thought you had a regular cat, and then its eye exploded. Uh, in, a, in a sense. So they told me that they would give you the medication that would treat it, and then it would be fine. They said it was just a respiratory infection, and that he's just, like, ready to go. Um, and so I trusted them in that, and took the medications they gave me. Turns out, whenever I was, like, adopting him, like, in the process, he was filed as aggressive, <gasps> and they were going to put him down. Um, what? Yeah, he had been abandoned three separate times to the same shelter. And they gave you a Trojan like, cat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. That's buck wild. He's the sweetest animal in the whole entire world. I bet. Well, to you probably. Yeah. That's all right. Doesn't have to be sweet to nobody but you. That's terrifying. Right. Priyanka, the question of the hour is. Where do you feel loneliness in your body? There we go. Where? Where do, you feel, <laughs> where do you feel loneliness in your body, Priyanka? Like, what specific part of the body do you feel your loneliness in? Um, so this is like a, it sounds like philosophical in a way. So you mean like... We mean very literally, where do you, when you get lonely, where do you feel it? I feel it in my gut. There you oh. go. Oh, that's where I felt it too. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. one back, one gut. No, That doesn't what? feel good. Priyanka's uncle taught me how to meditate. Oh, okay. Well, wow. Priyanka, thank you so much for your call and your contributions. Uh, we learned a lot. Britt learned a lot about herself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did. That yeah, she that she actually did make out with this one person before <laughs> she thought she did. But you know what? High I'm, school was a rough time. It was a lot more exciting than I think she remembers it. It was? We'll have to talk about it off air. I uh, bet it was. I knew yeah. it was. We would talk about it more on air, but um, I do want to get to our band, Marfa. And uh, Joey, you're sitting here. Are you ready to rock or to jazz or whatever it is you do? I thought they have like. Bye, Priyanka. I love you. Yeah, hours. bye, Priyanka. I love you, too. Bye. You got 10 minutes? Let's say you're going to go on for 10 minutes. Oh, no. Well, they could, we could. All yeah, right. The we'll let them close out, but I guess, I guess we'll just like, let's do a, you know, I've never had. I got some Pauline Maris woes. Okay. Yeah, let's hear them. You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. How long do we have? We might. We got, we got about five minutes and then we're going to cut to the band. Okay, cool. So we got five minutes for you to get it all off your chest. So. I'm trying to engage in a polyamorous relationship. Does it already exist or you're trying to make one? So I was talking to someone and I expressed to them that I, because it's a long distance, I would, you know. At first I was like, open relationship. And then they're like, no, polyamorous. And I was like, oh, they brought it up. Yeah. Okay. All I right. wanted it open because I know how to separate sex and feelings. Uh huh. So. They're like, no, polyamorous, because of whatever. And then I was like, okay, I've already been in a polyamorous relationship before, but it didn't work out. And so I was open to doing it again. Ooh. <laughs> and now they want to retract it. What? Those sly mofos. And I was already talking to someone, well, kind of, I'm like crushing on someone. Oh, my yeah. God. Is it someone I'm thinking of? Yeah. Oh, yes. But they don't know about it. But you're, a, are you a polyamorous person on the inside? <clears throat> um, or were you just doing it because it was long distance and it made sense? Um, don't think too hard about it. I don't know. 
Oh, really? Uh-huh. So was That's why I was like open to doing it again. So was know? it maybe you were looking at it as an opportunity to like maybe do some exploring about whether you are? Exactly. And then okay. they retracted it. Mm -hmm. They're trying to renegotiate. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? Mm -hmm. Pressed. Like, like pressured? Yeah. You know? I don't know. Now it makes me feel different because I'm like, oh. Because I already told them about the crush that I have. Oh, is that why they retracted it? Yeah, I guess. Huge red flag! This you know person doesn't know what they want either. Yeah. I'm gonna reach in there. Do it. I don't know. One time. Dude, these are funny. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't Almost. know. I don't know how to deal with any of that. Well, it's a red flag. Yeah. Here's how I would deal with it. I would uh, stay single and celibate for the rest of your life. No, I'm kidding. But if you do want to join um, a convent with me, Mike. I could do that. A what? A convent. Let's become nuns together. Oh, my Atlanta, yes. Yes, and also learn how to not get arrested. Because I would need to, you know, put that repressed energy somewhere. And I feel like I would be a vigilante. A vigilante nun? Those exist. Yeah. That's amazing. You know? I'd yeah. love to see that for you. Yeah, like if I can't like have sexual relations or any kind of relationship with this with anyone, specific group of people, then you never want them again. Yeah, then that's, I would I would go like, like you know like I guess be a martyr or something. I've been celibate since July and I haven't fought crime once. That's why it's gotten so much worse, Brit. Because <laughs> you're not <laughs> fighting crime. Because the people who are repressing no. themselves aren't fighting crime. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I wasn't fighting You're crime before and then You're doing a disservice to the city <laughs> by being celibate and not fighting crime. Now, you could be celibate and fight crime. Where are you repressing this? Like, or I'm not you repressing it. Repress I'm, I'm just following my bliss. But <laughs> I'm not, like, repressing any energy. I'm just celibate. Right. I'm not, like, keeping anything down. Um, I think that you should have a conversation about how it makes you feel to renegotiate. Oh, we already have. And we're taking it? a break right now. That's a good idea. Look, you've solved it all on your own. Well, but, so I guess now I'm going to be single and I'm going to be crippling single. No, but it's hey, you me. know what? You're not the only single person here. I'm single too. But you, I still got love in my heart for you. We got um, we got the love that we share with each other. I've got a lot of love. So we're we, at least. I think. We got we got space on this planet together, which is something. It's really beautiful, guys. Yep. And there's like this like nice little baseline in the background. Because like, we're ready to get a movement. Yeah, let's. Uh, it's like a romantic moment in the show. I've All actually right. never been to Marfa, but since Marfa came to us... Why well, go to Marfa when then Marfa will just come to you? It's almost exactly the same thing. Yeah. I kind of want to... I'm not going to drink the beer, uh, but I am going to open up a few of the Cheez-Its and pour them in the Funyuns. Ooh. So it's a grab bag. Uh, are we ready to go, Marfa? Yeah. Yeah, sure? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All, All right, y'all, right, and... Let's get some cheese. Now we're going to party with Marfa. We're gonna put some flaming hot popcorn in here for flaming hot times. Go to Marfa, not me. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so not a single one of us has been to Marfa. Not one. We're all from Katy, Texas. Katy, Texas. I'm gonna tell you a little story about Katy, Texas. We built a Typhoon, Texas, down the street from a seventy million dollar. I almost said seven million, but it's seventy million dollar stadium next to another stadium on the same street as Typhoon, Texas. My parents will ever, forever have to live in that traffic. My poor parents. This song's called Santa Fe, though. It has nothing to do with Katie. Oh, Lord, right. Oh, Lord, right. Ooh. Don't you 
doesn't it make perfect sense to run to that like we're all around? Let's do that again. <laughs> Man, sorry, Mom. I apologize to my mom for starting a public access show. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time with the camera in my face. Okay, we're gonna do that again. I forgot that this was recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have some more fun again about Santa Fe. More fun. Some more fun, some more fun, some more fun. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be better. No, it will be better. It'll be so much better. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't it make perfect sense to pretend like shit is all alright? All alright, don't you get the gist of when these grim bullets are beating, rolling with punches every day, giving all, giving all what I didn't have.
I ask. <laughs> Seriously? They're the only ones. This is all it takes 45 and everyone. Alright, no one's watching. Quick stop in front of you.